So uh, a year ago, Casey, you were uh, you were right at your other location planting garlic. It was a little bit colder than that. Today's a, a nice, nice classic fall day, the beginning again of of, uh, of November. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about uh, how uh, how the year went last year, from November to uh, to now. To now, yeah. So it was really dry, but our crop turned out really well. We sold a lot of garlic. Yeah. <laughs> And actually we have a lot left over. Last year we planted about 300 pounds, this year we're planting about a thousand, but about 500 of it is from last year. Okay. And we bought about 500 pounds this year. Okay. So I know you did a lot of, uh, a lot of events. Uh, what, uh, what places did you end up selling your, your garlic? So there were personal sales like on Facebook and family and friends and that. And then we went to Trenton, Trenton Farmer's Market. We went later in the season because we didn't know about all the events. And then also Mitch's son Xavier, he went to Codrington for us and charmed all the ladies to get some garlic. <laughs> all right, good. So I guess this is this is a fairly new uh, experience for for uh, you and Mitch of, of Cold Creek Garlic. Uh, what uh, what kinds of things did you learn uh, last year? Uh, so we learned that some well, so some variety we learned about the varieties mainly. Okay. So some varieties do well dry. Some didn't. Some turned out very small because of the dry. Um, it was also very clay, like clay soil. soil. Yeah. yeah. And here it's very nice. It's sandy loam, so we've got really good soil here. So hopefully okay. they do a lot better. And we're preparing a huge pond for uh, for water. So hopefully we have a better water supply this year because it was very dry last year. Okay. And we added a few varieties. We have Deerfield, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. But we kept we we're doing it almost the same varieties as last year. Okay, well, why don't you take me for a walk and okay. show me some of the varieties? So here we have four rows of Deerfield. Okay. That's what they're planting right now. Okay. And then we have Leningrad. Leningrad was very large. So Deerfield is new to us, but Leningrad we did last year. And this is all bought though. We bought or there's two, yeah, two rows of Leningrad. They're nice, very nice. Oh, sorry. Also, Dan's Russian. We bought that. This is a new variety too that we're trying. So you didn't grow that last year? No, we didn't. Okay. Um, Nova Scotia we grew last year, and that was our favorite. Everyone loved Nova Scotia. That was our top variety for the people. Okay. So we have lots of that. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We have six rows of Nova Scotia, and then. Chef Nakarai was another favorite for uh, for the customers. They they love those. Those two varieties are the best, and we got a lot of those, obviously. All right. Yeah. So what uh, what were some of the favorite things that uh, you had of the past past season? What were some of your favorite favorite memories? I hmm. I, I really enjoyed being outside. We got to Mitch, uh, he was laid off for a couple weeks, so we literally spent our two weeks out to, like cleaning up the garlic together, yeah. and it's nice spending time outside, and yeah. that was enjoyable. Uh, I think our most memorable, enjoyable moments were markets. We really enjoyed watching our product grow and having returning customers say how much they enjoyed the garlic. That was, yeah. that was satisfying. Yeah. Like everything was going well. Yeah, so. and and then of course, with the good comes the bad. What what were some of the uh, the bad 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 stuff that that you ran into? I don't like weeding garlic. <laughs> I don't like weeding the garden. Yeah, um, that was hard. I was pregnant too, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was uh, tiring. Um, well, tell us a little bit about the uh, about the blog. You must have enjoyed that because I see that's quite quite active. Yeah, I I write on the blog. I keep everyone updated. The process of how we started. Uh, I have I, I have to update it. Uh, I have to update it soon. Introduce this season and how we're doing and how we're introducing some new varieties. And so that's enjoyable too. Yeah. And everyone seems to enjoy it. Everyone that I've shared it with and. And they share it with everyone else and they all seem to enjoy it so 
And then, in case you want to talk, I mean, the other, the other, another new thing that I noticed this year was uh, a name. A name came about for the, uh, for your business, Cold Creek Garlic. Yeah. How did that come about? So we didn't. So we didn't plan on this. Year. The first year we were on this property as well, and then the second year we were out there. Um, there's a creek that runs. I guess it runs very far. Um, it's called Cold Creek. So that's what. Uh, that's we'll very be, original, right? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we'll be supplying water to our garlic this year, and. <laughs> I might not. You're no, tilted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, that's what'll supply our garlic with water this year. Also, our pond, but that's where we'll be getting the water from Cold Creek. And then, um, I guess there's a band called Cold Creek. Oh, really? Cold Creek, uh, something. It's a country yeah. band. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. And I see there's a phone number. Yep. So if anyone wants to have uh, garlic, they just have to call that number, I yep. guess, right? Yep. Or okay. we also have a Facebook page. Okay. Cold Creek Garlic. Okay. Wooler. I, mean, I think that's the uh, Cold Creek Garlic. Wooler. Okay, yeah. great. And then you're, and you're, you're such a pretty, pretty face. I mean, that must help in the sale of the garlic. Yeah, I was also pregnant. I think people. Oh, if they, do you think they felt sorry for you? So you think sales are going to decline because of that, or? Oh, maybe. Oh, oh, oh yeah, that's, that, that's a good point. Farmer, yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then also Xavier's a very good salesman. He he was at market last weekend and he sold over three hundred dollars of garlic. Oh wow! So this yeah. is a, this is a totally uh, family family affair. Yeah, yep. yeah. Family that's good. Affair, family yeah. and friends. And yeah. It's great. Yeah, good stuff. Well, well, your parents must be very very attractive people to have such a such a beautiful daughter. <laughs> so here's the other face of Cold Creek garlic, Mitch. So what, what, <laughs> so what are you what are you doing here, guys? Just planting the garlic. And uh, how, how does that happen? Uh, basically, we take it, put the basal plate down, just okay. the flat part, grab it with our fingers, put it in the ground till it's about your second or third knuckle in between. There's usually a good spot. Get your two to three inches deep. It's not allowed to come up in the spring. Okay. Plant it, you plant it too shallow, you get killed by the frost. You plant it too deep, it might not come up, especially in a clay soil like this. Sure. So it's a fa fairly manual manual process that uh, you're engaged upon here. Yeah, everything with garlic is manual. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Oh, that's good. So I was asking Casey earlier about uh, some of her uh, favorite experiences. I mean, maybe you could uh, share some of your favorite experiences from the last year. everyone coming together <laughs> <laughs> that's right that's usually, okay. usually busy working all year and uh, garlic season is the only time the family gets together the friends get together we actually have meals together and yeah it's almost like the traditional uh, traditional harvest and planting time like it used to be so what uh, Mitch what are you planting right now uh, this variety is called Deerfield I bought this from a gentleman I believe out in uh, the Niagara region this year it's all very, very attractive looking garlic. Nice purple skins on it. It's a, it's a mild garlic. It's a strong garlic flavor, but there's no, no burning. I, I'd recommend it as fresh as garlic. Uh, me and Sterling both ate a full clove, and it was actually quite pleasant. It'd be very good in a Caesar salad, uh, anything like that. I haven't tried cooking with it yet. I'll try cooking with it after we harvest it. Um, and that's due to the fact that every time you change the farm in which you grow on, the flavor of your food actually changes. So this garlic will not taste the exact same as when it was grown from the previous owner. It will, will change according to the soil, according to what it's fed. Um, I know this year, like we, we're feeding organic. Uh, we're using things such as alfalfa pellets, animal manure, straw. Um, we use things, processes such as cover crops. If you look at some of the gardens over there, you'll actually see the cover crops in for this fall. Now there was cover crops on a lot of this field already and it got tilled in. And we, we try to keep that practice up and, and that does make a better tasting product in my opinion. So Casey, uh, Mitch was explaining a little bit about the, uh, the different varieties and the different flavors and, and, and how, how that comes about. Uh, maybe you can describe a little bit for some of the people looking at your, at your blog. Uh, and at your website, uh, what you have posted there in regards to the, uh, the flavors and the, the types of garlic. So on there we have the intensity of how hot it is, uh, how it grew, like how well it grew in our conditions, and then we also have uh, what what that specific variety is 
it's good for. Like it's good for raw cooking, um, roasting, stuff like that. So everyone's different. Everyone. Some people like roasting it. Some people like cooking it. Some people eat it raw. Some people keep the vampires. Really. <laughs>